For about a year and a half now, I have been working on building my dream backyard. And so far, we have a mega ramp lake jump, a catapult that launches humans, and a lot of other cool things that make this backyard so much fun. And when I have the opportunity to add something to my backyard, that is going to add so much value for it to become a cooler backyard. I wanna jump on every opportunity I can to make it happen. So I was offered to take possession of a stunt bag that was not only 10 miles away from my house, but that I had actually jumped on before. These stunt bags usually cost over $70,000 a purchase. And in my circumstance, I have several goals that require a bag like this. So I went over to pick up the bag as they needed to get it off their property as they had possession of it for over two years without anybody using it and I'd gladly use it. So I'm literally at my friend's house and I had to borrow his trailer because the thing we're picking up is way too heavy. Shout out to you Weston, thanks for letting me use your trailer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a bag. Can I believe it? After preparing the truck and the trailer that we needed for the airbag, we instantly went to pick it up. Yeah, one of these go for seventy thousand dollars, bro. What? Yeah, and they're and just, that's they're just they're just driving it all off at our house, saying like, "Oh, you can use it." Damn. There we go. We gotta we gotta figure this out, man. Like, yeah, bro. It was on a pallet. Now it's not. Really? Well, but it was like four pallets, kind of like taped yeah. together. All right, so this thing is absolutely insane. It's so big. It weighs just as much as a car. I'm so glad we had this. Like, we would not be able to move this thing. No, no. Yeah, we we tried to move this thing with like eight or ten people, and it just it doesn't work. Really? Like, yeah. After knowing how much weight this stunt airbag really is, we carefully move it outside the warehouse. This one piece is like what's connecting me to making this place average to like so much better. So this is this is gonna be really, really exciting to get this all going. Let's go. It's crazy, dude. Two years ago, I was jumping on this bag with my dog. I know. And now it's going to my house. Two and a half years ago, I was having the first conversation with Greg Rowe. Yeah. Trying to say like, hey, we get that bag down here so we can have people jump on it. Yeah. So many people had such a great time on it. Yeah, so. hell yeah. So now all we have to do is load it on the trailer and get it home. No rush. Whew. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens, bro. Yeah, I'm bro. So excited. At the event we did was like we had a set up and it was just in one place and then you would just turn the air fans on and it was ready to go. In and then it just blow up. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like at my house, at my house we just set it up and we'd be ready to go. This is gonna be sick, bro. Wow. I cannot believe I have this. Thank you so much, Greg. Thank you. So we've got the bag here at Rush Park now and all we have to do is unload this monstrosity and we have to figure out where we're gonna put it because as of right now, we don't have the ramp set up, we don't have the takeoff set up, and neither do we have our speed set up. So until we figure out all those things, we're gonna leave this guy right here. Originally this bag was used for America's Got Talent and this guy bought this bag for a specific stunt where he jumped from 180 feet up from a crane onto this bag. So that means this bag can like withstand a huge amount and he bought it just for that. So as this bag has been sitting here for months, we're gonna be opening it up and we're going to be placing it on the ground and seeing if there's any damages across the whole thing. Um, and even if there is small damages, it's very easy to repair and anybody can do it. So we're gonna gladly say for an absolute steal, we have purchased an airbag for our backyard to add to the mega ramp, for us to do stunts, for us to do literally whatever we want. We can launch a human catapult off, we can do literally anything we want with this. So once we check it out and we know it's in great condition, we're gonna send the other partial part of the payment to know that this is a good buy, good purchase for us. But uh, I can gladly say that I got a good bag from a good guy and I appreciate you Greg Rowe for uh, making this possibility happen. And also Lewis, thanks Lewis. Love you. And now, after a few months, it's our first time opening the bag to see its condition. So that's what we're trying to do, is try to pull it apart right now to know the difference, because we're gonna put this on last. If anything, we could set this up over there and power wash the whole thing off, clean it off, and then we can blow this up in the meantime, obviously clean that off too. Keep going, keep going. Uh, right here should be good. Yeah, Everybody look how big this thing is, dude. Look how big it is. This looks bigger than 33 feet! Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, when I jumped onto it, I was like, this thing's big. Like, it did not feel like 33 feet. Which is good. We want it to feel like that when you're when you're 150 feet up in the air. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you oh, God! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> These are billboards that we're standing on. These are like billboard tarps. And the billboard tarps are 40 feet long. And I think we're 
four feet or three feet away from the edge, and it's like five or seven feet past it over there. So I'm glad this is not a 33 foot bag. I'm glad this is a 40 something foot bag because I would rather have more room to land on a bag than less room to land on a bag and fall on the concrete or the grass and miss it completely. Um, this is great news for me. Uh, a lot of more work, a lot bigger, uh, a lot heavier, but that's okay. It all seems to be going well, but suddenly we found some holes and ripped parts of the airbag. Okay, that's not that bad. Pretty sure it's upside down. Yeah, it is upside down. Oh, this is, yeah, this is well, there was more rips down. on the bottom side. Yeah, it unfolds this way. Yeah, we'd rather figure out now if it's usable than later when we're in the air about to risk our lives. I feel like it's very repairable though, because bounce houses get repaired all the time. You're right. Now that we know this is easily repairable, we can continue on. Wow, this is crazy, bro. All right, so right now, we could blow it up, but if we blow it up, the wind could just pick it up and take the whole thing away. So right now, we're setting up ways to strap it down on all four corners. We've got the tractor, we've got the truck over there, we've got another truck over there. We're gonna strap down the entire bag so it doesn't fly away, and then we can blow it up and then jump onto it. But we also have Capron and the team building scaffolding right here so we can actually jump off the scaffolding onto it and test the bag and see how it is. And so far, this thing's already sold. Like, this thing is so big. Like, this is such a big bag. Oh, it so, is massive. Yeah. It's so much bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's really, really big. So, super happy with that. Um, definitely gonna be our mega ramp jump lander. Definitely a lot of crazy tricks are about to go down on this. All right, we're gonna plug it in and see if it inflates. If it does, we'll see what the damages are, if they're fixable, and then continue from there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're good. What in Bro, I swear to God, this makes it like this. This literally just went from like a forty to fifty thousand dollar bag to like a ninety to hundred thousand dollar bag. That's crazy! Holy crap! In the meantime, while the airbag is inflating, we decided to grab the scaffolding to start building the tower, so we can jump off of it onto the airbag to test it out. It's gonna go to a corner, and we're gonna we're gonna watch it and hold it. So if the wind comes, we can hold it down so it doesn't fly away. Cause this bag can fly away like a parachute. I hate that the wind just picked up right now. Here we go, baby! Dude, this thing is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be, which is awesome. It's blowing my mind how big it is. We're just trying to figure out how to work it. I've never worked a bag like this before, ever. Dude, it looks so dirty. This thing needs a huge clean right now, oh my God. Hey, let's go inside of it. They said we can go inside of it to see it. Yeah, Cabrin, Cabrin, let's climb in together. It's right here, it's right here. So they said that you can actually climb in and you guys can, we can see inside of it and see why it's not blowing up. This is my death, guys. Oh my God, it's like just totally wet in here. Oh, look at all the water. <laughs> what? Oh, there's some straps, okay. Weston, where are you going? Don't die. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense now. This is crazy. I feel like we're in the ocean. Yeah, we're like under it. I, I think if we, I think if we run the air long enough, it's gonna dry up. Oh, definitely. Ah! Hello! <laughs> I'm coming through! Oh! F ah! <laughs> hey, everyone, go to one. Go to this side over here. We're gonna grab the bottom and try to pull it out. So everyone, need to. We need to go find the bottom and we need to try to pull it out. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh yeah, bro. There's so much there. Three, right. two, one. Okay. Did we just move the whole bag? It's filling up now, it definitely is. So with everything we just moved, the side over there is still the same. So we just pulled the bottom out, yeah, which is exactly what we needed. Yeah. So we need to move the truck out forward. Uh, hey, can you uh, can you pull that for, uh, the truck for, uh, truck for a little bit, Josh? Thank you. This thing is so much bigger than I thought. But it's a monster to try to get it set up. Oh my God, this thing is so big. It literally takes me a long time to run around it. It's, I feel like it's only getting bigger. Bro, this thing is massive. It's gonna be half the size. Dude, for literally. 10 grand. That's not a lot at all for this. That's one. not bad. Just built the mega ramp to go in it now. This thing is awesome. Just getting bigger slowly but surely. This thing is Sweat. huge. Oh my god. <laughs> it's bigger <laughs> than the shot. Yes. We're looking at the drone shots right now, which you guys can see. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> wow. Caprin, this bag is bigger than the entire shop. From the drone shot, it literally looks bigger than the whole bag, the whole shop. Dude. I want to see this turn into a ramp, like a resi landing. <laughs> no, we literally, look, we look literally have, look at the mega ramp, it's right there. We can literally, just I literally, that's why I built that. I built that so we can literally move it anywhere or make the exact same design in the garage because I had still the same exact measurements and we can build one right up to it. We still have 15 mega ramps 15 everywhere. of the same mega ramps <laughs> everywhere, yeah. Look at Suki. Oh, Suki's with us? Suki, do you remember the bag? Wait. This is just like Nitro Circus. Yeah, I know. Look around us. 
<laughs> We're like in a big valley. I love how she's not scared of anything. Suki! I'm on the second floor right now. We got the third above me. We're gonna go to the fourth. And this is where we're at from the second floor. We're literally eye level with it right now. It's just crazy. Oh yeah, now we're doing the safety precautions. Thanks, Wes. Yeah. This thing is nice though. Dude, it's a, it's a professional bag, bro. This is like what you want if yeah. you're trying to build something crazy. Oh, like this. 100%. This is what you want. This could take motorcycles, bro. What? Like I can do, we can do motorcycles into this. Dude, this is what they, this is the shit they use in movies. So this, this is 150 foot free falls you're doing in like Mission Impossible. Where the dude like jumps out the building and shit? Yes, this is like what you use. This is as professional as it gets. Wow. This is the nicest airbag you can get. This is awesome. Really? So it's yeah. like movie Hollywood airbag. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's some big stuff right here. All right, we got to build this up one more. Uh, we got to grab this platform here and put it up one more. Coming off. Damn, I feel the wind crazy coming through right here. Yeah. Is it windy up there? Uh, yeah, it's pretty windy. How's the jump look? <laughs> She's looking good. You got, you definitely got a gap that you got to clear. So yeah, as long as you're not tripping before you jump, you should be good. All right, I'm gonna grab uh, one more. We're gonna put it right here. And then we'll be able to get that like little bit extra so we can jump off to make it. Oh yeah, let's do it. Now the goal is to not land on it and then come back to the scaffolding. Cause we are three stories up right now. All right, so we just built up. Uh, I believe three stories. We're just one story above uh, what we should be doing. Today's a really, really windy day. So it could be possible that we just blow it up another day to jump off from a lot higher. But what we wanna do right now is we wanna deflate the bag so it's not so uh, hard right now because it's only gonna be really, really hard. Yo, how are we gonna get, we need a ladder <laughs> just to get in it? Wow, those were on the ground. Wow, this thing is, this is so big. All right, so in order to like make it a softer landing, we have to adjust these to open up more so the air can escape faster. We have to go to do that on both sides, but we're also looking on the inside because we never really got to see it when it fully uh, inflated. Kind of decided if we wow. should uh, stand on that or not. I could probably do that. I think it's gonna be fine. Okay. You gonna go for it? Oh my. Looks like prison. Is that what you say? It looks like a prison in there. Why would you know what that looks like? Hey, 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 hey. what? <laughs> I'm just saying. I wanna, I'm about to jump up onto it. All right, you guys ready? All right, three, two, one. <laughs> Damn, bro, this is crazy. You got it? Three, two, one. Oh, shit. It's like front flip. Feel like a front flip? I just feel like it'd be safer almost. No, you can walk and just run forward, but yeah, do a front flip. Just go no, as far I'm as you can. Scared. Just go as far I'm as you scared. can. You're good, don't be scared. You ready? You're gonna, you're gonna count down. Three, two, one. Get it, Brian. Run, run, run. Yeah, not too bad, right? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna jump. Yep. Three, two, one. Go, jump, jump, jump. Keep going, keep going. I right, land on your feet so awesome, you just literally like cloud walk. Oh, I felt that time. Dude, it's like an aftershock. One. Oh my god, I got all the impact. And you got hit the worst. Oh shit! You almost. Yo, no. What is it? I think what we should do now is we should build up one more story. You want to do one more? I think we should build just the yellow one. This is so massive, it like, yeah. doesn't make it dense. Yeah, but it's still, at least we'll be able to like try going higher and see what it's, it's like. It's so funny, our thumbnail concepts were like, this is some tiny little thing, but it's literally bigger than your warehouse. Yeah. So we're gonna be building the one more scaffolding, the yellow one, but this is all the scaffolding that we have, and it all broke from the last time we built it all up. So there's a possibility we'll be able to use one or two more of them. Okay, we're grabbing these pieces. All right, gotta build one more level. We wanna get this, uh, a little bit scarier, which it already is because the wind. The wind makes you scary because I've had this scaffolding tower fall over two times in the center of that pond or into the pond. So I, don't, I really don't want it falling onto this bag that I just bought, putting a huge hole in it. So we're gonna set up one more level and then we're gonna figure out a better way to anchor this thing down. We're gonna buy multiple barrels of water, put it at the base uh, later on to jump onto this or we'll just build a water slide tower and be able to jump off that tower into this. Uh, Building this whole next level is actually pretty sketchy. Um, I really don't want it to pop this bag. Going up another level is, is sketchy for the fact that it's not over water. I've been used to the water the whole time. So it's just straight ground on all sides. If you don't make it far enough, you bounce it back into here. And then otherwise it's gonna ruin the shop, which is the only thing that has value here. So I don't want to damage that. So yeah. 
So now I have to have Weston hand me the last platform right here, otherwise I won't have anything to stand on. Oh, that was a really weird way to do that. This is now the level of sketchiness I did not want to have here. Okay, oh, this is a whole different one. Oh, this is good now. I have never seen the point of view of the property from here. I'm higher than the shop right now. This is so cool. This is a lot higher. I, uh, I don't like being this high over the grass. Shit, shit gets serious when you got kids, man. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a, I want to be a regular person again, but we're already too deep. We must commit. Well, this is uh, not what I was hoping to do. I was hoping the water slide would not be chopped and we'd be able to jump off the water slide tower onto this. Yeah. And then we'd be way better off. All right, good luck. Do a flip at least. A flip? Do a flip. Yeah, I'll do a gainer. A gainer? Yeah. today. Oh! oh! so many of these bags so I know how to get out of them pretty easily. But I swear, if you stay right here, people are just gonna die right when they come off this thing. <laughs> the fact that he treats it like a trampoline, lands on his feet and crumples is wild. All right, we have Mr. Franco in the house. Just punch, just punch, punch front and show up. Yeah! Oh, this is the hardest part. <laughs> I can't wait till we go higher. Dude, how was that? It's so fun. It was so funny. We were jumping and it wasn't even plugged in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> was, was, I was like, there's no way. The air is just leaving. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Do you jump on it? All right, you ready? Oh my god, I fell so hard. Maru! Maru! Come on, get him, Maru! We gotta jump in! Alright, ready? Three, two, one! Get it! Oh! <laughs> hey, Maru, come this way, come this way! Yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. Shut up! <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't see Hey, don't touch them! <laughs> Yo, oh, shit. Careful. It's crazy. It's a lot bigger in person than it is on camera. I definitely like guarantee you that. Jumping first. Nailed it. Um, my question is, for the creative director, do you want to jump off? Oh man. Yeah, I'll jump off. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. We're having Cole jump off. Cole's gonna take a little break. He's been working hard, getting all those cool angle shots, drone shots, and everything. I think he deserves a jump. All right, let's go. Yeah, dude, he sits here and sets up all the videos, but doesn't even do any of them. Oh, okay, that's gotta change. Yeah, that's definitely happening right now. Yeah. All right, all right, we got you. We're here to support you. Let me know what we need, okay? Let's get up five, four, three, two, one, get it! Man, okay, you look like Tom Cruise. All right, what are we doing? Look at that little cork. I love it. Three, two. All right, so now I'm gonna try to go for a gain or two, and when I land, I'm gonna try to walk out of it without falling. Three, two, one. <laughs> I just fell right on my face. Dude, look, we're standing like on top of it right now. Here, try to jump. He uh, <laughs> literally folded, bro. All right, so we're doing a, uh, a series that we started making because I'm such a horrible speller, <laughs> and it's called Spell or whatever. So this Honest. lens getting pushed yep. uh, off this, so we're gonna do a vertical format, and you guys get to watch me spell horribly and laugh at me. All right. Um, I think I think Caper's the one that's not gonna get pushed. I think you're gonna get pushed, and I'm gonna get pushed. Right. I mean, I did a spelling bee once. I, I've been good at spelling. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, okay, we'll perfect. See. Your word is misspell. M I S P E L E. Oh! <laughs> what did I get wrong? M I S S P E L. Really? Yep. Oh, what the? F okay. Franco, your word is Chihuahua. 
C H I Ch W A H. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a hard word. Oh my God, my heart is pounding. Dave, are you ready? No. Your word is rhythm. R H Y T H M N. <laughs> so confident. Your last letter was N, and it was like that's not even in it. Damn it! You got the whole thing, and you messed it up with the last letter. Dang yeah, I thought it was M N. Where's the? Oh my God, what are you doing? <sighs> Wait, why are you up here naked? I call this the two-inch dive. Wait, what? The two-inch dive. Okay, right? get it. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> How'd you climb up here with one hand? Yeah! Yeah! Nice! Yeah! All right, Derek, get it! Oh, shoot! Oh, oh, God! Oh, God. You you have get it! Put him on his side. Put him on his side. Oh my God, dude! I don't think his head's bleeding, man. Guys, he's, he's, not, not, he's not gonna make hey, it. Hey guys, he, he's fake. Oh okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it. It looks so interesting from in here. <laughs> Punch his butt! Punch his butt! <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do the first thing ever. For our last jump, we're gonna jump together. Okay. Does this sound good? Yeah. Alright, ready? Alright, three, two, one, go! Oh my God. It's so much more solid than last time. Yeah, I'm excited to get like a big jump into this. Like this is honestly a super exciting purchase to be able to like actually have my own bag at my house. Um, it's just gonna make so many opportunities available to us. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We have so many more coming to you. And so many fun ways we're gonna use the bag. But if you have any other fun ways for us to use the bag, tell us in our Discord. Link is in the description, connect with us. We've been talking, we're staying live on it. I wanna connect with you guys. I wanna build a community of people who love doing this just like I do too. So, yeah.